All right, Deja, thank you very much. Mildred's has been a Kansas City fixture for years and like all restaurants continues to try and navigate the pandemic. Yeah, all new this morning, KSHB 41 news reporter Dan Cohen shows us how their crossroads location is actually thriving. It's the life we've always known. Evan Ashby has grown up at Mildred's. His parents opened the restaurant in the 90s. It supported uh, myself and my two older brothers through high school and college and stuff like that. And, um, you know, we grew up working at the family business uh, after school, on weekends, waking up super early. Now manager Evan and his colleagues have had a hard year and a half. Incredibly stressful time, wondering whether or not we were going to be able to survive this thing. They navigated a slow 2020 and then a rapid ramp up a few months ago. And we were 30% busier than we've ever been before in 20 over 20 years and you know we didn't have the staff we needed to to keep up little by little they're back to a full staff but the business of breakfast is still a challenge coffee is a big one prices are going up um, and I mean that's been the case for a long time it's kind of it's something that it's one of those commodities that's kind of always getting more expensive which is great because the quality of coffee is going up it's not just breakfast beverages either pork is going way up we're pretty big on breakfast sandwiches around here so we do go through a lot of bacon. We go through about 50 pounds of bacon a day. But the menu hasn't changed, and neither has the steady stream of customers. Very, very thankful that the amount of people that come in here every day, they are just eager to support local small business, and they're more than happy to put their mask on. The doors remain open, and a family tradition continues, with Evan taking the torch from his parents. A real honor to, like, kind of carry forward that legacy um, of family business has been around for a long time and I'm very I feel very proud that I'm able I'm in a position to be able to like help run my family business so that my, my mother and my father can retire I just tried to put Evan also told us that his mother Debbie has been at the restaurant during the pandemic helping out around and he still wants to make sure that she can retire and spend time with her grandkids Taylor and Lindsay. They open at seven o'clock every weekday. So apologies in advance to the two of you for making you a little hungry as they get He's ready to open crying over here a about little the plate of bacon. I'm you. saying, can we do more stories with 50 pounds of bacon on a pan? That'd and be really great. If you guys haven't been to Mildred's, yes. the best breakfast sandwiches in it town, I tell you. Phenomenal. So good. So Dan, with the reimplementation yeah. of that mask mandate, has that affected their business? Yeah. Yeah, it actually hasn't all that much. They experience a seasonal dip this time of year, Taylor and Lindsay, with a lot of kids going back to school. So sure. they see a drop in business by just a little bit, but it hasn't really affected business all that much. When we visited, there was a steady stream of people not just eating inside the restaurant, but also picking up to go orders. They have an online ordering process as well. That has helped out during the pandemic too. So things are going really well here in the crossroads, even with all of the pandemic protocols in place, as well as commodities issues that we've covered over the last few months. Well, you don't to have to apologize for them opening up at 7 because we happen to get off the air at 7. So it really it works out just fine, uh, Dan. I think you're going to be can, knocking at their we door. Can make, yeah, I'll be standing first in line this morning. Dan Cohen live for us this morning in the Crossroads. Dan, thank you very much.